In this tutorial, we are going to select a theme for use in our project and style that theme. And so I'm going to go to the themes browser and I'm going to use a third party theme called Legacy. And so I'm going to browse to the Legacy theme and select it here. And I'll close out the theme browser and preview the page. So what we see so far is my title. I've got a banner area here that references a tutorial page on the developer's website that tells me how to customize the banner. And if I scroll down, I'll find some empty content area. And then the navigation is here at the bottom. And so that's kind of the layout of this theme. And so as we talked about themes, I've mentioned plenty of times about third-party themes and that many third-party themes support a custom banner area. And this theme does do that. And it references the tutorial page on the website of the developer for me to go to. So I'm going to switch over to my browser momentarily. I just want to show you this to give you an idea of how the um, theme might work for you. Depending on what theme you use, the developer may offer the ability to customize the header image like this theme. And then the, the website for the theme describes in detail how to go about customizing it. So it mentions that I need to create a file, an image that is um, suggested to be 1000 pixels by 550 pixels in size. So I've already customized my banner for that size. If you refer back to the formatting content lesson, in the discussion about formatting images using the preview application to resize and optimize then um, and then also the photo bulk application then you have the details you need to know how to change the size of an image and so I've gone ahead and done that already in preparation for the project so I've got the image and it wants me to put it into the resources area of Rapid Weaver so we've looked at resources and it's simply a matter of dragging and dropping an image into the resources area. So I'm going to go to my finder. Inside of the resources folder, I've gone ahead and added my banner image. So I'm going to drag that and drop it into the resources here. And there it is on the left. Now let's go back to Safari for a moment. And the next step is to copy this line. This is actually CSS code. It's provided for me. I just need to copy all of that. So I'll do a command C to copy, go back into Rapid Weaver. And then I want to go into my page inspector. I'm going to go back into the edit view as I do this, into the inspector into the header tab, and then into the CSS tab here. And I'm going to paste command V into that space. Now the only change that I need to make is to the name of the image right here inside of the brackets. And so I'm going to reflect the exact file name right here inside of this space. So it's simply going to be banner.jpg. Now before we preview, let's go to the styles tab. And I'm going to turn off the master style at least for a moment. And then that will allow me to modify any of the styles that are located here. And so there are a lot of different options. And as we've looked at before, every theme will have a number of different options. And basically what we're looking at here is to see if there is any mention specifically of a banner. Because in some cases you would need to choose the banner that is being used. And that doesn't exist in this theme, although there is an option to display a slideshow. I'm not going to be using the slideshow in this project. And so it doesn't look like I need to do anything more than what I've done already. And I can verify that as well by coming back here and it just mentions that once I've added the code, customized the name of the image, then the banner image will appear in preview. So I can preview at this point. I'm going to close out the inspector, preview the page, and there is the image that I've added. So I've got my title, my image, and then the content area is ready for content below. But before I add content, I want to also add a logo to the page. So I'll go back into the edit to the site settings, and then I'm going to drop a site logo into this space. And so let me go into the images folder that I have in my finder. Here's my logo. I'm going to simply drag and drop that into the site logo space. And then we can go back and preview. And there's my logo. So I've got my logo, my title, and my header image. And now we are ready for content. Now I can certainly make a lot of other adjustments to all kinds of styles here on the side. It's not really going to do you a lot of good for me to go through all of these because you, chances are good you won't be even using this theme. And we've already covered the setting of different styles in previous tutorials. And so um, there's certainly a lot here for me to customize, but I'm just going to go with the defaults in this case. Of course, you would want to go through all the settings and apply any of those that you wish to use in your project. So with that, we will conclude this tutorial and then we will move on.